Hi guys! Today we are going to factory reset this FortiGate firewall. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Alright, so we got our hands on a FortiGate firewall. This is a 60E. And yeah, it has a reset button, some power plugged in, and of course some uh, LAN ports, fan ports, and uh, also a console port. So I will start by unplugging the power and I'm going to show you how to use the reset button and also how to factory reset this via the CLI. But first let's factory reset it completely with this little pin. And uh, you hold the pin while you unplug the power and then plug it back in. So I will hold the reset with this pin then plug in the power and I'm gonna rotate it so we can see the status LEDs, the power LEDs. And yeah, now we have a better view of the switch. So uh, yeah, I'm still holding the reset button in the back. And what we are waiting for is the actual status LED to start flashing. And uh, at least on this model, it takes quite a while. So I will not cut this video and I will not fast forward it just to make sure that you get the exact time that it takes. So now the ports did flash but we are still holding the reset button and we are going to hold it for quite some while. And uh, yeah, as I said, I will not cut and not fast forward because it's quite important at least in these scenarios to and you were, when you are watching tutorials, did I hold it uh, long enough or should I release it now? So we are actually going to do this exactly one to one for the time. And uh, yeah, we are just going to wait until the status LED start flashing. And when it starts flashing, we are going to release. So I will stop yapping now and we will wait for the status LED to flash. Still holding the reset button, waiting for the status LED to flash. Takes quite a while. Now it starts flashing. So now we can release the pin and uh, yeah, it starts to flash. So now it's actually factory resetting this 40 gate and it's just a 60 E as you can see top left. So it might vary depending on the model you have, but this is the one that I have for a lab. So at least in the, in this model, it takes, uh, yeah, it takes quite a while. What we will do now is I will fetch my console cable. At least in the later models you got uh, this USB to Ethernet console cable so that you could plug in into the console port of the FortiGates. I'm not too sure about the new models uh, when I ordered some new FortiGates recently. I actually didn't get any cable but you can order them from the Fortinet website if you want. One that you know is 100% compatible with your FortiGate firewall. So the switch, sorry, the firewall is still resetting and meanwhile we can plug in this console cable. One end of course into the FortiGate firewall and I will bring my laptop in here. So we can plug in the other end, the USB-A into my laptop here. So we can connect to the 48. I will bring the camera to the screen so we can see what we got to do now. So now basically we want the terminal program. So I will uh, open up uh, Putty, but first actually the device manager to check what port my com 
cable got assigned to. So if we go to the device manager, open up ports, we can see that this cable got assigned COM3 and this yeah can vary quite a lot. So it's important that you do it uh, like this. And here we can see the status LED is not lit yet. So this is still booting up and uh, doing the factory reset. Not until the status LED starts to go green, we can actually connect to the switch. But meanwhile, let's prepare a bit. So yeah, let's see, COM3, let's open up a putty session. And here we will go with serial because we are connecting with the console cable. COM4 is not it. We are going with COM3. And I believe the speed is 9600 for this model at least. So here we have prepared everything, COM3, the right speed. And um, when the forty gate starts to go green on the status LED, we will be able to connect to it. I can press open meanwhile, and it will actually recognize the connection once uh, the forty gate is ready. But so far it's not, so it's taking quite a while. But we just have to be patient and uh, wait it out a bit. But the session is still idle, it hasn't connected to the FortiGate yet, so it's waiting for the connection. You can see top left, it just says PuTTY. When it uh, connects, it uh, goes COM3. I'm touching my laptop screen, that's usually a great idea. There we uh, see COM3 top left, so something is happening with the firewall right now. I think we should be in soon. Yeah, there is. We have the prompt to log in and the default credentials, at least for this model, is admin. So I will just type admin, enter. Password we will leave blank, so we just hit enter here. And here it says, yes, we need to put a new password so I will just type a password and I will type it again. Welcome we are now logged in to a completely factory reset 48 firewall so that's pretty cool. It took quite a while about uh, yeah maybe seven minutes in total and here now in the CLI we can do execute factory reset and if we hit enter here we will have a confirm, yes or no, and if we put in a yes, system is resetting to factor default. So this is the way to go if you actually have access to the switch and you know the login already. Then you can just go into the CLI, either with the console cable, through the Ethernet port if you have an admin interface, or even via the web GUI. If you are doing it via the web GUI, you will go top right into the CLI. So we, you will basically have the same interface as we are having now. And you will do execute factory reset the same way. And here we can see we, the firewall is initializing. The factory reset has begun. So I will do the exactly same thing here so you can see exactly how long time it takes. I will not cut, I will not fast forward. So you have a one-to-one -one experience on the actual factory reset here. I think it will take about two or three minutes, but the same way goes here. The status LED is going to go green. Then it will prompt us again for the pass uh, user account and a new password. So let's wait for it to reset from the CLI method.
and we are still waiting for the system to reset. Let's take a look at the actual hardware. In here we can see power is on, but the status is not lit. So it actually is still working. It's still resetting. So we just have to have a bit more patient, patience with the hardware. It's going to reset 100% if it's working correctly. So we just wait a bit more. And we are still waiting. Something is going on now. It jumped a line. Let's see on the status led. It turns green. So we should be ready in a second to actually log into this, to the device. And here it is. Here is the prompt for logging in. And the same goes here. Admin, hit enter, password, hit enter. Type a new password, enter, confirm that password. And we are in again. So there are the two ways to reset it. Leave a like and subscribe. Bye bye.